Here I'm going to explain how to use the HLOOKUP function in Excel. Now the HLOOKUP function is a lot like the VLOOKUP function. In fact, it's exactly the same except for it searches for data horizontally whereas the VLOOKUP does it vertically. So if you're familiar with the VLOOKUP, the HLOOKUP is going to be very easy for you. So first let me explain what the HLOOKUP actually does. <coughs> The HLOOKUP function is going to help you sift through large amounts of data and get results from that data. So get information from it based on certain criteria. And so it's very good if say you're maintaining a database for anything. Here what I have, I have a list of six parts and I have their sales for three months. Now this is small but if I had it for going back 10 years, 12 months every year and I had 150 different parts the age lookup is going to really come in handy because what it's going to do it's going to allow me to enter a value here a part number and then it's going to return sales for these months and the reason that an age lookup function is going to be used here is the orientation of the data if the part numbers run in the left column like this and the months on top I'd want to use a VLOOKUP so let me try and explain how the HLOOKUP works by first uh, writing one, writing the function. So I want to type in a product here and I want the, this month's sales to appear here. We're going to start the function by equals HLOOKUP open parentheses. Now the lookup value can either be text or a cell reference. If it's text, you need to surround it with quotation marks. So if I type in a part number right here, I have to use quotation marks. But I don't want to do that. I want to use this cell right here. So actually, let me first zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to use this cell for the lookup value. The next thing is the table array. Now the table array is going to be where you get all of your data from. And so include the part number and all of the data for the months for all of the parts. Then comma. The next is the row index number. Now the row, the row numbers are relative to the table array. So the table array is my green box right here. And it goes row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4. And I want to get sales numbers for January, so I want row 2. So I put 2. And the next thing is the range lookup. Now this is optional. If I leave it blank, it's going to default to true. The two things I can put in here are true or false. If you put in true, what's going to happen is when the H lookup looks up the lookup value, it's going to look for an exact value and if it doesn't find that it's going to go to the next lowest value and it's very good for using if you're looking up numbers but here we're looking up parts and the parts start with text so we want them to be exact the false is going to only show an exact result if it doesn't find an exact result it's going to give you an NA so since we're searching with text we want to use false so false. Now if you're looking for a good example of when to use true, it could be if you're doing like a grade book. And I have a good example of that using the VLOOKUP in one of the other tutorials. So that'll give you a good explanation of how to use true. So back to this, close parentheses, and that's my HLOOKUP. So let me hit enter and show you what it's going to do. I want to look up a part number, say ASD-02. So I hit enter and it tells me that the sales for January are 324 and that's correct. So let me explain how that happened, how that worked. So the H lookup, we have the lookup value and the table array. Now the table array is where everything is going to come from in here. And the lookup value is what you use to get the other data. Now the lookup value is always going to look in the first row of the table array. So when I have this product here, or the part number, it will always search the first row. So that's why you have to include the part numbers in the table array. You cannot use it to search the second or the third row. You can't do that. 
it's only going to do the first row so don't forget that the other thing is the column or the row index number I'm sorry the row index number that's two because this is the first row and this is the second row and we want data from January but that doesn't explain how it got 324 so when you use the lookup value I did ASD02 what happens is the H lookup goes to the first row looks for ASD02 and it finds it now it needs to know how many columns to go down or how many sorry how many rows to go down to find the value that you want and I put two it knows it's already in the first row so it goes down to the second row and it gives you 324 so that's how it works it's gonna find the part number and then it's gonna go down by however many rows you tell it to go and that's how it works so let me go ahead and do the H lookup for February equals H lookup open parentheses I want to use this value or this cell for the lookup value comma my table array comma the row index number now I want data for February so I go row 1 row 2 row 3 so I want 3 for the row index number the next thing is the range lookup I want false and I did false because I want the part number to be exact I want it to be an exact match so now let's take a look what it does B12 it's going to search for ASD02 finds the part number right here and it goes down to the third row one two three the third row and it's going to give me three 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 so I sold three hundred and thirty three of these parts in February if I hit enter notice that it is indeed 333 so March is going to be exactly the same except for with a different row number and this time I want the fourth row number so notice the only th difference between these three H lookup formulas is the row number this one's two then three then four so if I type in a different part number here ASD04 all of these numbers change accordingly so all it did was it looked for the part number ASD04 then it returned the value for January then February then March and that's how it works now, it is a little bit confusing at first so go to the website excelishell.com and from there you can get the spreadsheet that I that you see here and follow along in the tutorial and that may help you out a little bit but the main thing is to just try it out yourself and after you've done it a few times you'll start to understand how everything works now note that this is a basic introduction to how HLOOKUP works because you can get much more complicated and add a lot of other features to the formula to make it more robust and so that it will do a lot more but for now that's a basic introduction to the HLOOKUP